Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So we got our first look at the set photos of Superman or 2025 upcoming James Gunn Superman film, which used to be called Superman Legacy, but now it's just Superman. So I guess I'm just going to call it 20, Superman 2025. But yeah, we got a first look at the costume a few months ago, but now we've got a first look at some actual set photos from filming. So this is some raw, like raw images of the things that they haven't necessarily been officially put out, like the like the image that James Gunn posted, which by the way, I made a video about. And that suit, just from that image, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I thought, you know, there were some elements that looked cool, but for the most part, it looked kind of bulky and it looked sort of not right. I don't know. I didn't really like the line design on it. We didn't get a proper first look at it. The lighting was a bit shit. Um, yeah, it looked a bit off. And so now these images are like proper full scale looks at the costume itself and some of the cast. And we're going to go over it and break it down. So let's just get into it. So looking at this first image here, pretty much a full body shot of uh, David Corrin sweat Superman. Um, and look, it's a very vibrant suit. You know, I, I'm still undecided. I really am on this whole suit. It's a very vibrant suit. I I like the try. I think it's too bulky. I'll say that. I'll start off with that. I think it's too bulky. I think if it's going to be Superman, it needs to look more alien or not more alien, but it needs to look more slender. You know, it needs to be more tight fitting. It looks quite bulky and even to some degree kind of tactical, you know, looking at the back of the suit, even looking at the back of the cape, rather. Um, I like the symbol on the back. I like the, um, the, the, you know, the Superman S, the old, the old yellow Superman S on the back. I think that's a different take on the cape that we haven't seen before in live action. And I like that. And I like the color of the cape. I like the vibrantness of the cape. I think that looks really good. I like the way it drapes down. I like how long it is. I think that as well, like a long cape sort of makes you look a bit godly, a bit more like, you know, powerful, otherworldly, you know? And so I like that look for Superman. And I think that that works really well. I also love the way you can see the collar at the top there. I think that just... It sort of goes to it goes goes together really nicely, you know. So this image alone of just the cape, I think, is nice. I think, yeah, I think I like the length of it. I like the all yellow Superman logo on the back that we, you know, it's a bit more vibrant. It's a bit more comic booky than we've seen before. But I, I dig the cape. I think so far I dig the cape. But yeah, the suit itself, I don't know. I don't like the line designing on it because with those lines, it's sort of meant to signify armor, right? And like Superman doesn't need to wear armor. Why would he need to wear armor? And so I don't really like the line design, like on his shoulder and on his like rib cage, sort of. I'm not a fan of that. The trunks, I think the trunks need to be a bit smaller, maybe. I don't know. And I like the yellow design on the trunks, but I, it kind of looks like a belt to me, you know? I'm being overly critical, by the way. I'm very much nitpicking. Um, there are a lot of stuff about the suit that I like, which I'll talk about. But I feel like the yellow sort of looks like more of like a belt and I'm like why would Superman need a like it looks like a utility belt kind of it's like why would Superman need that you know and so I feel like the trunks just need to be a bit smaller and the entire suit I think needs to be a bit tighter and I don't maybe just tone it down with the the line detailing on the shoulders and the ribs that's what I would say but for the most part I think it's good I like the vibrant colors I like how it's not muted you know it's not desaturated I like that it's a bit more vibrant I like the collar by the way I think the collar looks really good because in the original um photo that was released by James Gunn it looks more like a like a turtleneck but it doesn't really look like that in these images and so I really I dig that I like that the Superman logo on the chest however is a bit smaller than I thought it would be but for the most part again I dig it I like the yellow accents on it I really do and so yeah for the most part I think the suit is okay and there are some elements that I like. We'll see how it translates into live action. I trust James Gunn. I think they'll probably do some work in post to make the suit look a bit cleaner. You know, some some things like that. Maybe get rid of some of the creases and stuff like they do with Spider-Man a lot of the times. And so I think it'll look good in when it's finished. But for now, I like the idea of the suit. I just think it's a bit too bulky and I'm not really loving the line details. But for the most part, I really like it. I like the cape. I like the collar. I like the yellow accents. And I like the vibrance of it. But anyway, we also get our first look at Mr. Terrific in this in this image. Um, the only thing I know about Mr. Terrific is from Arrow, the show that, you know, the CW show. That's the only information I know about Mr. Terrific. I know about his T-spheres. I know he's supposed to be extremely smart. And looking at this, this first image, I think he looks a lot like the CW character. I really do. I think the jacket is the same. I think in other photos we see, like, the pants and the, it says fair play on the... 
on the jacket. I understand that it's very comic accurate, but it just looks very much reminds me of the CW. You know, I like the hair though. The hair is much different to the CW, which I like. And I like the T mask on his face. I don't know if that's painted on, if that's a mask, but I like that. I think that looks cool. But again, seeing it in live action, we'll, we'll have to see how it goes on, on the big screen, you know, because I'm only used to seeing Mr. Terrific on the small screen, on a lower budget arrow. But um, yeah, we also get our first look at Lois Lane, played by Rachel Brosnahan. I think she looks really good. I don't know. I really like the purple. It's kind of a plain outfit. It's a bit more, a bit more basic. But I, I dig it. I like the black hair on Lois Lane. I think, I think Rachel Brosnahan suits the role a lot more than Amy Adams does for me personally. I think she's great in Mrs. Maisel. What I've seen of it, I've seen like a little bit of the first season. But she's great in it. She she's definitely really good. And so I trust that she'll do a good job with the with the character. I like. But again, just looking at the the outfit i think it looks good i like the pl it's you know i like the purple but it is a bit more plain you know it's it's but again what she's a journalist you know she's not gonna be wearing a super suit out in the field you know but i really dig the black hair i think she, her and david corin sweat look really good together and they look like they have good chemistry you know from other set photos you see that it looks like they have great chemistry and i i'm really digging them together they look i don't know just the look of them two together i like how they're sort of very like color first you know color centric like color coded in a way where she's like you know per has like some purple purple accents you know purple color coded while he's got the bright blues and the bright reds i like that i really do like that in characters when they're sort of color coded i think it just it, it makes it feel more cinematic in a way you know it makes it feel like an adventure like a movie you know it, it's kind of a weird sort of pathway that i made made in my mind but i still i really dig it but yeah i think she looks great and look they look like they have great chemistry you know looking at even this photo here they're clearly laughing having a good time this looks like it's in between takes and so i trust he looks great in this by the way with that with, while he's smiling and he's standing up straight with his you know the superman hair i think he looks so much like superman it's crazy but um, yeah, look, I think the suit's good for the most part. Even there, the suit looks better where he's standing up straight and it's not so creased. I like that. I think that that looks, that looks good and I dig it. And so, yeah, I think for the most part, the suit looks really cool. I'm, I'm excited to see if we get more set links of other characters like Green Lantern, Guy Gardner, or, you know, Hawk Girl or Anthony Carrigan. Um, what, who's he playing? Metamorpho, is that his name? I'm not sure. But I'm excited to see those characters. But anyway, that is it for my breakdown of the set photos from Superman 2025. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on these photos, on the outfits, on the Superman suit. Do you like it? Do you agree with me? Do you think there's some issues, but for the most part, it's good? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure if you have not already that you like and subscribe. That would really mean a lot and I really appreciate it. Also, if you have not already, turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I upload. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.